And then you're gonna do it one clean, like hard. There? You can go harder, Maria. What the? Hell? <laughs> okay, do go like be like the body, be like donuts and tortas and body pasta and pizza. Take one and then hit it hard. Donuts and tortas and bari pasta and pizza. Take one. <laughs> okay, so so what you're saying is like all of this is for me. Yeah. I can eat whatever I want on this table. Yes. <laughs> <gasps> I got one, two, three lactates ready to go. Oh my god. We're gonna get started. Popping the pills. Popping the pills. <laughs> are not watching this <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh okay so we are here i don't know if you noticed but we are here with body pasta and pizza sorry it's yes. a pizza. and this is maria who is you are the owner in a sense your dad is the founder but yeah. you are you're like yeah. running the shit you're running the show dude like if you haven't checked online like on tiktok and instagram like all those skull like skull what do they call skull pizza skulls pizza skulls <laughs> This is the lady, like she literally was filming the food better than I was right now. She's like, yeah. you gotta make my food look good. No, for, yeah, my dad and I make a big, <laughs> the, the, a strong team. He takes care of the kitchen, I manage the front, and I do other things like social media. All the social media, yeah. dude. <laughs> I have many roles. Many um, roles. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm so happy that you're here with us today. Um, you also have been so sweet about being a supporter of Donas and Tortas. I know we're a small little thing, but I think we appreciate all the support that you've given to our little tiny channel. No, and you're on your way because, I mean, two years ago, we only had 200 followers. So, I mean, you can go a long Whoa. way. I mean, you just have to find, you know, your niche, so okay. to speak, and you can get there. So, oh I mean, I'm a huge follower, follower of hers, and I reached out to her, and I was like, I love who you are. And I was like, Pff. Yeah, <laughs> and oh, I'm lucky me. to be here with you today, so. <laughs> well, I'm a big fan, I'm really a big fan and supporter of you and what you've built, and I, that's one of the big reasons, like, yes, we are gonna try the food, it's all gonna be amazing. I'm literally, can't stop staring at those skulls, the pizza skulls, <laughs> but I also wanna celebrate you and what you've built and what you can do to inspire other people out there um, who, like you said, had 200 followers and now your business, I mean, how many numbers do you have now on Instagram and TikTok? Um, I think we're in the 60K last Wow, yeah. and business is like doubled, Yeah. you know, crazy. Yeah. yeah. You know, possibility of more bodies, who knows? The, yeah. the, 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 what is yeah, it, the option? we're dreaming bigger now, yeah. for sure. I mean, we thought we were gonna, you know, be like a one, one location only, um, you know, and now we're, the people are reaching out to us every single day saying that they want us to be where they live, like New York, Texas. Dude! You know, so, I mean, we have people traveling from Texas, like, almost weekly, which is Wow. I mean, people drive out for food and it, you know, I feel like food is what connects us all, you know, good food bring us, brings us together, so we're excited. We, we agree future. with that. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of food, let's get into it before they get cold, right? So yeah. I'm gonna... What do we, what should we try first? I'm gonna the put skulls. pop in these uh, okay the skulls. I'm gonna pop in these lactates. <laughs> okay, so talk to me about these uh, pizza skulls. How did they come come about? Like how did they? Um, so it was my brother's idea in 2015. Um, he came across this mold, um, and he was it used to be used for p baking only, mm -hmm. so like um, brownies, so to speak. And he was like, why not put a you know, make a pizza out of this. Um, after that, I feel like, you know, you started seeing other people trying to do it, um, like Food Network picked up on it. I mean, we didn't get credit, but I'm pretty sure my brother was the first one to come up wow. with pizza skulls. Yeah, and other people have started to do it, but I mean, no one does it better than us. Like, oh, right? <laughs> nobody does it better than Maddie. <laughs> okay, um, let's do it. How do we do it? How do we break so, it? So I'm gonna grab one. Yeah, okay, they're so. stuffed with cheese, pepperoni and garlic but you can customize it <sighs> upon request as well it smells so good yeah. the dough is yummy and it's they're always made fresh to order so they're the best quality dough the best ingredients yeah it's smiling at us <laughs> <laughs> she has an actual skull in your yeah, car too I do. a I skeleton drive, yeah i drive around with the skeleton in my car <laughs> and i think it's super funny but i mean I always say, I told my coworkers he needs recognition because he's literally the employee of the year. <laughs> <laughs> literally. 
<laughs> All right. Well, how do we open this? What's the so what's your you go-to? Break it however you want, or dip it in the sauce. Uh, oh yeah, we got the break sauce. It. Let's hopefully we get a cheese bowl. Hopefully, yeah. you know, so just in the middle, just like yeah, this? wherever you want. Okay. You know, uh, try to pull it slowly. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my God. You see? You're not oh yeah, it right. I'm not so, pulling it right, huh? Pull it too fast. Too fast. And they don't get a good Look at her. <laughs> well, you're gonna get over here. Oh my god, dang! <gasps> <laughs> and now you can eat it, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. Yeah, do it. Are you serious? Yeah, do it. <laughs> I mean, that's how. Our uh, honestly, right, fuck it. Let's it's, do it. so the guy that I always <laughs> film is my fiance, and he has an aggressive way of eating. He and does. Yeah, he's the one that inspired the cheese pulls because, and oh. I feel every customer who comes in and dine it, dines in, they cannot eat those pulls without pulling it apart first, and then they're eating it super aggressive. I love like it. Does. So it's a thing. It's a trend. All right, so fine. Yeah, let's do it. Have to do All it. right, let's go. <laughs> Come on, oh. suck it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're ridiculous. You see that pepperoni? Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there is pepperoni, guys. Because this cheese is amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's really good ingredients. And I feel like that's what, you know. Holy shit. That's, I mean, not only do they look great. Oh my god. You know, they're super fun and they taste amazing. So, yeah. It's been a. What kind of cheese is that? I mean, I know it's mozzarella, but. It's, it's top secret. Because ah! <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> I'm gonna have some too. Please. You have to dip it in the sauce, Jackie. You have to get the whole experience. All right, all right, all right, all right. You know. I don't want to double dip though. Mm -hmm. Here, let me get let me get another skull. And I told me to save for one, so. Well, you know, who cares about double dipping? Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> Cheers. Mm -hmm. So it's all secret secret ingredients, huh? Yeah, and the sauce, it's amazing. Like people buy. Uh, you know, bucket of sauce. And no. Like they yeah, like they, oh, Anna's going to freak yeah, out. People say the sauce is what brings it all together. It's super, super yummy. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm actually not a big sauce girl. Like when we do pizza, like mozzarella sticks and stuff. But that, that right there, there's like, there's like, you could tell it's like there's there's several things in there. Mm -hmm. There's some secret stuff going on in yeah. there. The most annoying thing comments that I get what? online is um, oh my God. people saying I could do this at home. Mm. You know, it'll be cheaper. I'm like, yeah, you can make tacos at home. You can make burgers at home. But are you still going to In and Out and buying them? Are you still going to your closest taqueria and buying your tacos? Like, you know, I'm not saying that we that you can't make these at home. I'm just saying like the crop, the ingredients that we use make a huge difference. Absolutely. And, you know, the whole bite, like the whole thing is like, and people, I love it when people say, I'm gonna go check it out and see what it's about. And you know, and they're saying like, oh, it was worth the wait. Or, you know, I know why, why people speak volumes of these. Uh -huh. Because it tastes so great, right? Like it's not just like, you know, what do, what, what do people say? Like, it's not just like a gimmick. Oh yeah, it's not, <laughs> yeah. It's not just like a gimmick, like a, yeah. a tactic. Like it's yeah. actually legit. It's actually good. legit good food. And my dad has been in business for 23 years. Um, his food is amazing. And I feel like when I started working, so I started working Yeah, let's him. talk about how yeah. did you get involved with body? <laughs> yeah, so it's 2020, um, COVID was happening. The job that I had uh, did a huge layoff and you know, many of us lost our jobs. And um, I'm always been the type of person, like a workaholic, so to speak, and I was actively searching for a new role, even though I was getting paid better during pandemic because of the layoff. Um, but I still wanted to go back. Like it's, oh. it's crazy, right? And now I look back, I'm like, wow, I should have just like laid though. And you know, <laughs> and, and like, you know. And, and, and you know, um, you know, like gotten, you know. But I, I didn't do that. I went back to job and I, I was, you know, doing a job that I didn't see myself keeping. And I could only do that for like three months before I was like, dad, you're having such a hard time getting people to show up to work because a lot of people felt, mm. you know, like it was unsafe to work, especially being in a fast, you know, food restaurant, <clears throat> so to speak. Um, so my dad was having a lot of trouble with scheduling and I was just like, you know what, I'm not, I'm not liking what I'm doing. Let me just quit my job and come work with you. Um, 
and it's been, you know, a ride from there. I mean, I noticed that there was a huge opportunity with social media because he didn't have social media. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I started, my videos were crappy, so to speak. Like, you know, like they were not doing well in the beginning, but I feel like the... Yeah, what changed? Yeah. What changed? I think consistency. Like, you know, you're, you're finding out what the audience likes. Um, my phone got better. I got an upgrade on the phone. <laughs> She's got a nice phone, y'all. Yeah, so, um, you know, and better light. I, I started learning little tricks here and there, like, you know, like filming outside gives you better lighting. Um, and, um, you know, I like learning how to position the food where it makes it seem like really good. And then having my fiance, like he loves food and he, I always say, whatever you eat, you make me crave. So I just started filming him and, you know, mm -hmm. um, and his aggressive way of eating, like I said, you know, doing those cheese pulls or whatever, like it made people, you know, want to be oh, yeah. there with him, you know, yeah. and like, or do the things that he was doing. So you're forgetting one very important thing, though. What? You are the voice of oh, body. Yeah, my voice. The voice, dude. <laughs> like the voice is the whole thing. Yeah. Like you are literally walking us through yeah. this food, and it's your voice. Yeah, and, and it's, it's like... super funny because a lot, all my models, so to speak, are never me. So, and I'm the one always speaking. Yes. I mean, and then I feel like my voice has helped in those sense. Like I don't pronounce words the way they're supposed to be. Um, and it wasn't. A tactic it was it was just me now you authentically yeah, yeah authentically I, I English is my second language my Brit my, my parents and I um, weren't born here we're from Mexico so uh, a lot of words I'm still like you know being you know English being my second language I don't pronounce <coughs> words the way they're supposed to be said and I feel like a lot of it is comments the bully comments so to speak are not you know I at first they would get to me but I, I didn't like I didn't let those hinder me so to speak um, because I kept going and I and I started realizing even though I was getting so much hate you know it was actually pushing my content yeah and like so know? bring it on bring yeah, it so on after that it really just boosted my confidence I'm like dude I'm gonna look at you I, I can keep talking the way I talk uh -huh. and you know, if haters want to hate, you know, and I made a video about that. If haters want to hate, <laughs> keep hating because it's only helping <laughs> us at the end of the day. People Dude. who want to support us are going to keep coming, you know, so. I, you know, I don't, I mean, I've told you this before, but I'm like, Dude, you are like a marketing genius. You know, I've had my, you know, share. I didn't know I had that in me. <laughs> which, that, that's what I was going to say. I'm like, you know, I've been in marketing for many years, but you know, I, I think you, th this is a testament to like any, anybody who's out there who wants to create opportunities for themselves and learn and grow. It's like you have probably had no idea, like you said that you were into this and like, no. you are a, a true marketer. Yeah. You know that, right? The way you speak about your audience and where the camera has yeah. to be and like What's make sure thing? like things have to look a certain way. I mean, this is all. I feel like I have OCD, so things have to be straight. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, marketers have to be OCD. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I feel like, <laughs> I, I honestly, I, I was, I feel like, you know, uh, destiny has yes. something to do with this. Yes. Um, I always said growing up, I wanted to be just like my dad and, you know, have my own place. And, you know, life happens where you're just like, as you grow up, you're, you know, certain things become more important and you start like, you know, deterring away from your childhood, you know, mm -hmm. um, you know, wishes. Like mm -hmm. I said, I wanted to be my dad, like my dad. And as I grew up, I was like, you know what? I want the work-life balance. Mm -hmm. And I saw that my dad didn't have that. So I, I deterred from that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, COVID happening, it made us really think like, what should we be doing? And I'm mm -hmm. like, well, this is an opportunity to, to bring on what I said I wanted to do as a kid, take on my dad's shoes. And it's been working out. And wow. I feel like I'm stronger than ever. So. Oh my God. Yeah. And even like <laughs> the fact that you're right, because I was going to say earlier, you're the one that was like, you know what? Let me go and help. Let me go yeah. to you. And like, you you did that for yourself. Yeah, which I, I thought because I really cool. hated where I was. And I was just like, COVID really was like a huge slap in the face for a lot of us. Because yeah. I really thought that the job that laid me off was going to be a job that I would Oh, I'm so happy that was not. Forever, you know what I mean? No. And you're, you're destined yeah. for so much greater things. Yeah, you know that. That's what I told my dad. I'm like, I didn't know I had such a creative side until yeah. now. And I feel, it's really good to feel like, you know, I could just do whatever I want. Like, as much as I want to say Barry's is his own brand, we I am the brand, you know what I mean? I'm. I'm Did yeah. you hear that? Uh -huh. Go on, <laughs> go on, girl. <laughs> because it really, like, I'm making yeah. Barry's, like, you know, um, 
successful, truly yeah. beyond beyond yeah. what, probably what your dad even imagined, yeah, right? Yeah, and before I'm like, I used to say bar eat pasta and pizza. No one knew about it. Now everybody knows about it. Oh, like that school place. Like I would literally be walking into stores with my t-shirt because I, I live in this uniform, you know, <laughs> and people know who we are. So they don't know me, but they know, they know they, who you are, yeah. which is like yeah. every marketer's yeah. dream. Um, yeah, dude. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. I did watch that movie Elemental, by the way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we don't talk about it. Maybe, Maybe we, we talk do. about it. Maybe, Maybe should we should we talk yeah, about it? I love that movie. Okay. I honestly saw I it and I cried. I cried. I cried. I feel too. like that is the that movie was speaking to me. Mm -hmm. I feel like that Waterman is Caesar. Oh my God. <laughs> that when he died, when well yeah, when something and happened and I was like, yeah. wait, oh let's move this way. I feel like you're still off center. I don't. Want, oh, no, I don't want you to feel like you're. Oh, there. Off. there we go. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, let's talk about the water, man. Yeah. <laughs> Should we? Should we, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Um, Why does he remind you of Caesar? And Caesar's your fiance? Yeah, right? he's my fiance. Okay. Um, so, the fire, um, you know, it, so to speak, is my dad and I. Um, <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> um, you know, we're very, like, explosive people. We like things getting done quick and fast. We care about the customer. Um, and um, we're kind of so in tune with the business, like, um, you know, and we're, we never like sit down and talk about our feelings. And then like this waterman is always like, he's all about feelings, you know, and he brings, <laughs> he brings something out in, you know, the fire girl. Yeah. Um, and he um, makes her realize that she has like a creative side that she didn't know about. So when I first started, like I said, it was just, me, you know, managing the store and um, just focusing on like ground level stuff, you yeah. know. And um, I think being with Caesar, I realized like, you know, I have such a creative way of, ex you know, ex showing off the food and, you know, I should be concentrating on that. So, like, I feel like um, on our downside, like, you know, we love to make videos for um i have a, a social media page oh, like i haven't posted in a while but it's called socal foodie friends i did not yeah. know that <laughs> and we made a video for this restaurant called bandoleros and it went viral for them as well and they messaged me saying like hey what? like you know thank you so much for posting that video like can you you know next time you're in let me know and the food will be comped on the house wow and it was because of that video that they said that they were super busy or they've been busier than ever wow yeah, i didn't so, know this yeah. so what are you thinking you're gonna continue maybe doing some uh, to be honest i mean i'll just do it when i have time and out of my own love for food um i don't but i want to keep you know showing off baris like that's okay. who i you know like that's who I want to dedicate my time and my yeah. energy to, especially because yeah. it will be a way of like, if my, Caesar and I, we hope to, you know, carry on Bari's to bigger and better things. And hopefully, you know, in the near future, I can concentrate on what I love. And, you know, it's the marketing aspect of it. I have mm -hmm. so many things that I want to get to, you know, but because I'm there, you know, 24 seven, you know, on the ground, um, I don't have time to do it. Like I was telling Yaki, I love how she called me Yaki, by the way. I love it. Like Yaki. Um, uh, yeah, that, um, you know, I don't, I, the videos that I post are yeah. videos that I film in literally like three minutes span. You know, like I literally, I'm like, that's probably my meal that I'm having for the day. And I, I'll do a quick edit on my lunch break. Like, so I, like on your phone yeah, and everything. I literally right? be the, yeah, on my phone. Yeah. So the, the food that I'll be filming is for the day is what I'm actually eating for my meal. I'll do the filming like really, really quick because I'm on a 30 minute lunch break and then I'll be editing the video. So you use your break. Yeah, I use my break Dang. while I'm eating. Wow. And then that's what I post for the day. I'm, I told her, you know, that productivity and like, you know, consistency is key um, to what I feel like has been successful for me. So I try to do a video a day, which means I'm, you know, it's my lunch break every single day. And hopefully by the time I get home, it's already been edited and posted. <laughs> wow. You know? so it's, Did you already do yours for today or no? Uh, no, I haven't done it for today, but I work today at two oh. right now. Yeah, so no. <laughs> whatever I'm eating for today at lunch will be posted <laughs> later on today or tomorrow. Got it, got it, <laughs> yeah, got it. Yeah, so literally it's a day by day thing. I, I wish I had more time to feel like wow. I can film enough content for yeah. several days where yeah. I don't have to keep on, you know, working okay. it. Yeah. That, I want to just point out to everybody like, 
that is that is true like dedication determination because there are a lot of people out there who have the luxury like myself too to like to like film over the course of like several days and this and that but you like you're just like every day you're like i'm gonna i'm gonna do it and you just you do it you make it work you whatever you have at your disposal you're resourceful and you do it so my question to you is because here at lettuce and tortas we like to get deep <laughs> okay and maddie, maddie already knows this i'm like what do you think it, it fuels that for you, that, that sense of resourcefulness, dedication, like, why are you, how can you, how, how are you so committed? I'm just, um, it's very cool. I, I feel like I've been with my dad when I first, like I said, I just started three years ago and there was days where we were super slow and, you know, we didn't have, like, we were lucky if we got to 80 tickets a day, you know, and it wasn't, it was just enough to pay our bills, pay our coworkers, you know, but there was really no profits and it really, um, you know, got to me in a, you know, cause I was just like, how could be my dad be working, opening to close every single day? And it's just really, you know, and we have such great food and it's just like a need mm. for marketing. So I think like, and then once I started seeing like, wow, people are traveling to, you know, from other cities to try our food. We're not in the best locations, right? Um, I mean, I've seen people, you know, people who know where we are, like it's not, we're kind of like a hole in the wall kind mm -hmm, of place. So mm -hmm. if you really don't know about us, you're not gonna see us. It's not like you're gonna drive by and you're gonna be like, there's, you know, there's body, what's body? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, so you really have to find us in another way. And you know, mm -hmm. for a long time, my dad was just passing out flyers like himself before starting his shift, like door to door. Oh. And wow. he, yeah, he didn't know how to, even do mailers. So when I came to the team, we, we started doing mailers to homes, which we didn't see a lot of, you know, response to, um, even though it was coupons and stuff. But I feel like now we eat with our eyes. So this is, yes, has we do. been working and, you know, business has doubled, tripled, you know, wow. and it's reaching people who have really strong social media presence. Like, so we, we had, we had, we hung out the other day and when, when she got home, she's like, Oh my God, you'll never believe who got the skulls. And posted about them jordan the stallion eight wow that is this guy has almost five million followers like yeah. this is insane yeah and he liked them which is good yeah yeah like imagine <laughs> if he didn't but he's the one that's like he's always like he was he's, he's, always, he's always with his phone in the mirror and he's always like come here and he like says something really amazing it's like like dude yeah yeah <laughs> like how do you feel when that happened honestly i cried <laughs> yeah because it's like you know, there's a lot of social media creators out there who do it for a living and it costs money to get them. And, yeah. you know, small businesses like, you know, ourselves can't always afford it. And, um, you know, for that same reason, I think it was a push for me to start doing my own videos yeah. um, to to be like less of a cost of burden to the to, you know, to our to our store, to our restaurant. Um, but now, like, people are trying our food, like, they want to try it, even if that's, like, they don't want to, they don't want to get paid for it, like, there's people who have so much following that they, they don't need that, you Yeah, know? they um, genuinely want to try yeah, it. Yeah, they genuinely want to try it, and it's huge for us, I mean, yeah, Labor I mean, Day was week, and, like, he posted it, the Labor Day weekend. The Friday, oh, yeah, 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 the Friday, going into <gasps> Labor Day, and it was crazy. It was a crazy weekend? Yeah, I was oh. actually, I actually had the that weekend off and okay what'd you do because it was um caesar's um, my fiance's mother's birthday and i was like so Aww. close to not going because i was just like oh my god it's gonna be super crazy but luckily we have such a strong team right now um like everybody was on board to do overtime you know? and <clears throat> you know thank you for those who had the patience to mm. to wait for the skulls to wait for your food because we had like an a wait time of like an hour or two hours like Whoa. it was crazy people were lining out the door yeah it's like a dream come true and then also nerve-wracking for me because it's like wow i'm not there i'm like Aww. i'm not supporting my team but yeah. you know sometimes you know you have to step away i mean like like i said i do work a lot and you know sometimes we have to step away and like i'm lucky to ha to feel like i have the support of my team that they can carry it on and yeah. it's just like it just 
it's just like a reassurance. Like if we were to grow, like you know, my team there will be safe, and yeah. you know, and we can keep on growing. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of genuinely wanting to try food, can I try the pasta and the bowl? Oh yeah. Bowl, yeah. Let's have you. Let's, let's, let's slide around. this over. So this actually went viral as well I from the schools, um, within the schools. Um, so it, another, it's another way of eating your bread. Normally you have your, you know, your side of garlic bread, yeah. but this is, Can you want to, yeah, lift it up, oh show God. the bowl off. Yeah. So instead wow. of getting your bread on the side, the bread is like the it's bowl. As big as my face. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Mm, it and it's a creative way of eating, right? I love yeah. This. Whose idea was this? Um, so it was actually one of our um, followers um, from Instagram. Oh. So they started this idea. We didn't come up with this idea, but they were doing this idea in Italy. Oh, and okay. she was like, I wish I had a place where I could, you know, oh. have this, you know? And then I was just like, let me try it, you know? And that's also a thing, not being fearful of trying new things. Like mm -hmm. people, and I saw this such a creative way, you know, and I'm like, let me try. When we first posted about it, it didn't really have traction. I kept- Really? Yeah, it was- I was excited yeah. when I first saw it. Really? Oh yeah, I was like- Are you sure you saw the first video? Yeah, I did, maybe I did. <laughs> no, because- post every day, so- Yeah, because the first video, I was just like, it didn't have any traction, like- What, what, only a thousand likes or what? No, <laughs> it was probably like, you know, 50 likes, which is not- you know, I guess for your 60, yeah, thousand, yeah, I like guess. it wasn't doing well, but I kept pushing it. I'm like, we'll see if we get it, you know, yeah. and it eventually it went viral, yeah. you know, and you know, people love the bowl. So people come for two things, bread bowls and, you know, pizza That's schools. Cool. All right. Yeah. Let's get in there. So, so. you get, so the, so, how do, how do so we get? I, you know, if you were to be served there, it would already be in there, but since you're to go, we okay. pack it separate. So your okay. bowl is not soggy. Okay. So you're just going to transfer your pasta. Okay. Yeah. And I did, uh, I chose a uh, um, pesto. Pesto. Oh, pasta. there's chicken in there? Yeah. yeah. Did you have the chicken? Yeah. I was like, I didn't want to. Um, so tell me about your pasta. Is it homemade? Or? Yeah. So, um, well, all the sauces are homemade. Um, the, the noodles itself is not homemade, but yeah. the sauces are okay. homemade and um, all the ingredients, okay. other than ingredients. So should chicken I, is oven baked. Should I do it like this? You can do it however you want. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm so nervous. Okay. Here we go, everybody. And just transfer. Yeah. And then pick up your bowl so you can Let's show it off sure to them. <laughs> this one, right? Yeah. This bowl. Show it to the audience. Holy and that's just another thing. Like Caesar would show off the video. He, I didn't know. Okay, so I when I first did the video, I need, to, I need you need to take a picture. Can I? Let's try it. Mm. Creamy pesto. Yes. Chicken. <laughs> You're gonna have some too, right? Oh, sure. Like, I'm even, I'm not even hanging here. I don't. I don't know how hungry you are. You might just let. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> mm. It's so good, huh? It's um, my favorite is a creamy pesto like this. Yeah, so you're supposed to grab a couple bites and show it off to oh. the camera. Oh, damn! Look at her. Yeah. And show it off there too. That one. I wonder if it's still recording. Uh -oh. Okay, couple bites. Can you take this big enough bite? Because since you can. <laughs> what? Caesar your hand? I can. He can do that. Yeah, he you can do it. it. No, I can't. Try it. I'll, I'll just take a small nibble. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Anna always makes fun of me because I always feel like I'm gonna notice it. But I tend to like look like I'm gonna like do a big bite, but then I eat like a little rat. <laughs> Where I'm like, I'm all. You better um, mm. save some for your. Or Anna, right? Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna be angry. She's gonna be like. <laughs> okay, so how do we do this um, with. Can we grab some bread? How do we. Mm hmm. So you just like. So delicious. Yeah, just tear it apart. Okay. Wow. What is your dad's favorite meal? Does he have a favorite? Mm hmm. He does? Mm hmm. So, the Mama Mia pasta, um, he named it, he put it together. So, it comes with um, oh. pink sauce. It has mm -hmm. um, pink. the pink sauce is a combination of the marinara and the Alfredo. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be really creamy. It's called creamy marinara. Mm. Um, it has chicken, artichokes, tender tomato, and onion. So mm. he named it. Super fun, right, Mamma Mia? Yeah. Super cute. Yeah. And that sounds really delicious. Mm -hmm. I love that pink sauce. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to go back. Yes. <laughs> There's more to try. I was telling her I wish I could have brought more. Wow. Um, you know, we have 
Calzones, which didn't make it today. Um, <laughs> and a super funny name, especially for like us Mexicans, Calzones, you know, undergarments. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah. We have pizza. Um, we have yeah, paninis. Pizza. Yeah, let's show off the panini. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this made it. And then the paninis are uniquely different than any other place because usually with paninis, you use like a sour bread dough. Yeah. For here, and here we use uh, the pizza dough. So it, we make the bread when you order it, so it's gonna be fresh. And then um, we slice it in half and we stuff it with the ingredients. So this is the Ooh. chicken breast panini. Oh my God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold. hold it. Like, mm. like, um, Can you see it? Mushroom, chicken, it marinara sauce, and green peppers. Yeah, and it looks like a big happy smiley face. You're it just does. supposed to. People, I, it's super funny when we serve it to people because people don't know how to eat it. They ask for a fork really? and knife. I'm like, I was I like, girl, show this show is them. this is a this is finger food. Show them, show them, show them. <laughs> you, you have to be sloppy with right, it. You know right, what right. I mean? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. You're like, mm -hmm. oh, you hear that crunch? I hear the mm -hmm. crunch. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and they're so big, so people are afraid to, like, you know, lean in like, for a bike. <laughs> let me help you. Mm -hmm. Let me help you here, girl. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Watch you. And then I see the pepperoncini, so. Yeah, take a bite. Take a little bite. Yeah. I like to take a bite of the sandwich first, and then the pepperoncini. Oh my god, I'm gonna, like, pass out right now after all this. In food coma. Mmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> It's like a pizza. Mm -hmm. It's like a pizza sandwich. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, what it is. <laughs> oh my god. Going in for another bite. Don't forget your pepperoncini girl. Did I already ask you what your favorite was? I think you, I asked you earlier when we were setting up, but. Um, yeah, you asked me behind the scenes. Sorry. <laughs> so my favorite is the, the panini. Um, I feel like, I don't know if you guys saw my, it's kind of a recent post where I was just like, have you ever ate something so good and made you dance? Because you're just like, you know, you can't get <laughs> yeah, out of it. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Paninis are it for me. <laughs> and I feel like, That's so cute. you know, um, they're uniquely different. Like I said, um, mm -hmm. yeah, like usually it's a sourdough pressed, you know, with the grill marks. Here you're getting, it's like she said, a pizza sandwich. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm dancing right now with this pesto. Talking about pizza. Mm. Do you think the audience would prefer oh. <laughs> a slice of pizza mm. or pizza skulls? Oh. Comment below. <laughs> Look at her. Social media girls come out. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh my gosh, should I try this too? Yeah. Oh my god. All right. We'll try it at the same time. What yeah. tastes better? <gasps> Take a deep breath, Jackie. <laughs> Wait, I have to get the sauce. Oh. All right, and. <laughs> I like to eat it with the. You like the crust. <laughs> I like the crust. Honestly, they're both really good, but that's that's cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's cool funny because somehow, like, man. people always like say um. I, I ordered a pizza, a regular, you know, whole pie pizza yeah. and the skulls. Mm -hmm. The skulls are so much better. And I'm just like, girl, they're the same. They're it's the same the thing. Same thing. Yeah. yeah, it's the same ingredients. It's just like you can't get away from, you know, just like how cute. It's an experience. It's an experience. Yeah. And then you just have fun with it. And it's like, I think, a mind thing where you're just like, I like these more. Which is great, right? I'm, no, I'm okay with that. Well, you know what? I feel like I'll, uh, I think about all my stuffed crust baddies out there. The girls that like their stuffed crust pizza. Oh, yeah. And that's what it that reminds is, me yeah. of. It okay. reminds me of that feeling that you get when it's like it's something, like that unique experience. Yes. And then it tastes, I think it tastes really, really good. <laughs> like, I'm, I don't know if Anna's going to. We're going to have to get, I think we bit into it. And she was just. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're gonna have to bring her in. You have to bring her in for. No, we'll save for... this one. We'll save this one for her. You can mm -hmm. this one. We'll save this one for her, and we'll have some pizza for her. We'll have some some of this for her. Oh, this is mine. <laughs> she's, she's not a big pesto fan, so. Oh, okay. This is all. That's why you. That's why you ordered the pesto, huh? So you don't have to yeah. share. Yeah. Because she likes the marinara sauce. So, uh, okay. Which is fine, but. Oh, like so then she'll like the panini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know how we talk a lot about mental health here on Oh yeah. Donas y tortas? Yes. <laughs> okay, so as okay, so a couple questions. So you said that you really um, it sounds like you actually do watch my videos. I know I have a lot of like long, 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 long videos, but um, what um, does it do you enjoy like seeing other people like openly express what it means to talk about what's happening between our ears? Yeah, um, I actually was on, on my way here. Yeah. I was actually listening to a video that you had with, um, it was it the therapist yeah. that you just posted? Yeah. About? Yeah. Oh, about the nurturing the inner child? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. And um, I actually, I mean, I've been following her and listening to her videos. It's kind of like podcasts to me, yeah, you know, and I listen part. to it while I'm driving. I like driving. to say show. Yeah. Know, Honest, to be honest, like, I don't know, podcast. yeah, because like they much. are lengthy. I don't have time to, like, <laughs> you know, watch them, but I'll hear it. You'll hear it, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, so, I mean, I think it's great because, um, you know, we all grow together, and um, us being vulnerable, um, you know, like, it kind of makes you relate, like, oh, wow, like, she, he or she is going through this, and, you know, I can too. Mm. It's just, um, you're not, you're not alone, you know? Yeah. And I, I, yeah. It's good to hear, yeah. Yeah. It's funny, these coffee chats like came about because I was going through some stuff and I was like, well, I'm just gonna carry people along the, for the ride because I hadn't really seen anybody, like you've seen a lot of like different people talk about it, but I'm like, oh, I want it to be done in a way that's like, just like, let's just like, let's just like go there, you know? Let's just talk about even the smallest things, you know, that people are going through those small moments, you know, because there's people out there who, you know, you don't even want to get out of bed, you know, yeah. there's different ranges of where you are yeah. in your journey. And I think it's like, it's important to be honest and transparent because then you don't feel so alone. Like even me talking about like, you know, comments, you know, the, the so bullying. to speak, the bullying yeah. that I experienced, like they forget, you know, they're, it's a small business, you know, and, you know, I feel like people forget that I am, you know, so connected to the restaurant. Yeah. Like it's, you know, we're the ones doing the videos and, you know, we're not, I, I feel, I feel like it's super funny when people are like, oh, it's just an ad, you know, like they're trying <laughs> to sell you on something. I'm like, no, I'm like, I really am like, you know, it is, it, I'm lame how it is. Like yeah. there's, it's not an ad or like yeah. the ad convinced me and I'm like, oh, then I convinced you, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> do you know? Um, yeah. But yeah, comments like that, I mean, you do get to you sometimes and it's yeah. good to have people in your circle mm -hmm. who like don't let you give up like you know kind of like saying like the waterman caesar my fiance oh, um it's good to have his support in yeah. a sense like he made he's the one like there was like w during when we first started like when my videos first started getting viral or like more attention so to mm -hmm. speak I w you know comments like that would get to me and i'm just like oh should i stop or like really? should i or should i correct the way i'm pronouncing words oh. you know and he, I think people, you know, having people that you can rely on. I feel like a lot of people don't do the social media, like, you know, small businesses who can't afford, like they're afraid to do it themselves mm -hmm. because they're, they're, they're afraid like they're not gonna be posting the right content or they don't speak on their um, reels like because they're afraid of like, oh, well, I'm not, I don't have the voice for it. Right. I actually, so, uh, you, you, so Yum Yum Feast? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah. she would do her voiceovers. Shout out yeah, her, shout yeah. out to Yum Yum Feast. What a, what a yeah. blessed soul. Yeah. What a person. <laughs> yeah. I, I was actually a huge follower of her, and she was one of the food, first foodie people to do a video for us and oh, believe what? in her food. Yeah. Because she, she, she knew about the, like, she had seen the schools or found out about the schools when my videos weren't, like, weren't popping. Like, the schools, I always say, sell themselves, but really, I feel like it's uh, the voice, you know, the way I present it, that's, mm -hmm. you know, getting people's attention. But before when I wasn't so creative with my videos, but Maria saw the schools, like mm -hmm. even though it wasn't, it didn't have huge traction, um, 
she was like, I could, she was like, I want the schools, you know, and she came in and she did a video oh, and then wow. from there it started getting more popular. Wow. And then I was like, kind of like admiring her because I was just like, wow, I, I wish I had the confidence to speak on my videos like she does, right? Because she does a lot of voiceovers. Yeah. That and then, voice, man. yeah, that voice. And I told her, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, tell me how your day went. <laughs> yeah. And then I was just like, and I think me meeting her gave yeah. me the courage to try the voiceovers. Um, really? And, you know, see, yeah, to, oh, to, to see where it goes. And even though, and when I started getting the bullying, I was just like, maybe I should stop, you know? But then Caesar made me realize like, okay, well, you're even though you're getting negative attention, you're still getting attention. And then when we started seeing the foot traffic, it just it was a reassurance. Like, yeah, you're right. Like, and so screw those people. Yeah. Yeah. The right people are going to The show right up. people. Yeah. <laughs> and now That's look awesome. at us. Like I do voiceovers all the time. I can't post a video time. without it. <laughs> Did you do a voiceover for me? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> I'm totally going to make you do a voiceover. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and now Didn't we have Jackie with her pesto. Yeah, and now oh. it's yeah, and it's super funny because now people know me, my <laughs> voice as like the because okay, so before I didn't know I was saying pizza the wrong way. I would say pizza with a kind of like with a K because that's the way Latinos say it, mm -hmm. right? And I didn't know I was saying it wrong this whole my whole life. No, there's no wrong way. Yeah, to say it. <laughs> well now now I know it's with the T, pizza. You know what I mean? And, um, but you know what, occasionally still I say pizza because you say that, whatever you want to say. Yeah, that. and now I get compliments of like, they know, oh, the pizza girl, you know uh, what I mean? <laughs> and then I'm like, they know it's me or like, they, yeah. Or like, um, my brother even created this, um, t-shirts that you what? can, you can, that we're selling on our website where it says the definition of pizza and how you, you're supposed to pronounce it pizza, like uh -huh. how I say uh -huh. it. And it says you can find the best pizza oh. at Bari Pasta and Pizza in the city. So Santana is also something I say wrong. It's supposed to, you know, it's two words, Santa, Santa Ana. Ana. And I say Santana like a one word, but like the artist. Do that. Yeah, and that's the way my family says it. A lot of my coworkers say it, Santana. Even and in I, Spanish, <laughs> when you say Santa, Santana, it's like, yeah. I feel like it's one word. Yeah, yeah, so we just kind of ran with it. We just did a you brand. You made shirts? Yeah, yeah we made t-shirts so you can purchase. Are they still available? They're still available, <gasps> yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, um. so it's just saying like the the, the best pizza you can find in, you know, Santana. <laughs> the best pizza stalls yeah. you can find. Uh-huh, yeah. Sorry, I'm over here eating my, my bread bowl. Yeah. Oh, no, but what I'm trying to say is you get inspired by other people, you know, and it's one whole big community at the mm -hmm. end of the day. And he hearing and learning from other people, you know, what their struggles are, it makes you feel like you're not alone. Yeah. Yeah. And it's funny you say that because it also is, I hope that also helps people to, for those people who are like, you know, nervous or don't go for things like your decision could really have ramifications like positive um, results of like inspiring other people so um so keep that in mind okay <laughs> next time you're like hesitant you're like no i always i mean uh, i hate to quote lady gaga but i've done it several times now already but there was that whole meme thing where she was she talked about this story a lot but i love it where she's like you really just need one person to believe in you like I mean, obviously you want to believe in yourself. That's also very crucial. But even if it's, excuse me, oh my God. No, oh, cool. Even if it's like one person. Ah. Ooh, <laughs> so I have one really good friend who has always been like, what am I, you know, those cheerleaders where you're just like, she's just always like, you got this Jackie. Like, she's like, you're my little Oprah. And I was like, okay, All right, her name's Brenda. And Brenda's always like, you got this girl. Like since we were like in college, you know, and so she's just somebody in my life that I'm always like, okay, like if there's just one person who thinks, oddly enough, if she thinks I can do this, you know, then yeah. that, that's, I'm like, all right, I'll keep going. You yeah, know? surround yourself with cheerleaders because yeah. I mean, I'm, I, I, f I like to think I'm very confident, but there's days where you're just like, like self-doubting and then you have to have that person and you're like, that reminds you, oh yeah, yeah. you know, and, you ha and then it keeps you going. Yeah. yeah. And it's, um, uh, you know, meeting people I honestly have, I was surprised how many people I've met online that I'm like, oh my God, 
like we click or it's like what the hell like who would know that well obviously you're one of them ah. <laughs> and like maria from yum yum and you know another girl carly from another agency and it's just like it's it's been really nice to actually those people online who aren't bullies who are your cheerleaders yeah and you end up like connecting and you're just like yeah uh, if it I- wasn't for online like when would you have met them you know yeah yeah i mean now where I'm, I'm in an age where you know like my f- co-workers become my friends and you know friends that I had you know like high school college or you know it's been you know for for high school it's been like what 11 12 years for me sure, yeah something <laughs> and then like that, something like that, yeah, yeah and then college was like <laughs> I can't remember you know so oh, there's been at, like my friends are it's my family and my fiance yeah. and then the new friends I've gotten is because of you know kind, weirdly enough people I've met through social media yeah. and it's just like people who think alike are yeah. becoming like she's became such a good friend of mine and I felt like I knew her already because I watch her every day and it was so easy for me to just like I mean, I know who you are. <laughs> Remember that first phone call? Like, yeah. Because like, I or like the, your voice. Or the first time I met you, and I was just like, I already knew you. Like, I felt it was like zero, like, you know, like. Awkwardness. Awkwardness. Like, I'm like, like yeah. I already know her. Yeah. yeah, we were talking for a while. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's it's cool to, like, life surprises us in, in cool ways like that. Yeah. So. And then my, my parents, I think, like, it's so funny because, like, my, my dad is not a tech savvy person, you know, like, like I said, we didn't have social media and he did it the old school way of like door to door hangers. And, you know, that's the wow. way that he yeah. did it. And it worked for him for a long time. But we're going into this new era, so to speak, where everything is just online, you know, everything. and yeah, so it's good to have like my dad, you know, the support system, like, you know, he can't, you can't always do it alone. So having a good team so to speak is helping yeah. him grow yeah. um and then m- me meeting yaki is like it's another way yeah. of like reaching a new audience you know oh, so yeah. like we're, and he thinks it's so f- fun that i'm creating friends over Aww. like the social he media does? platform yeah because <laughs> cool. i told him like oh, i'm gonna go i'm gonna chit chat with my friend yeah. and she's like i just meet her i'm like oh online through social <laughs> media <laughs> He's like, oh, and he's like, he doesn't even think it's weird anymore because he knows that yeah, that's my life. Is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I just, I really like, am just in awe of what you, what you created. Thank and, you. Like, your creativity and your, your strategic mind and, and your um, determination. I mean, and commitment to this is like, it's really beautiful. And how you want to like, how I love how you're like, no, I'm gonna prioritize the body. Like, I think. I think that's also really, it speaks to your maturity too. Like you're like, you know what you need to do and you know where you need to put your, your time in. So I really applaud you. And um, we appreciate that you spent time with us this afternoon. Oh, because you got to go to work in a little yeah. bit. And I appreciate <laughs> that you took your time off to come here and be with us. Like this has been so much fun. Yeah, it has been. Thank you so much. <laughs> good. I know you were nervous. I know I was. But you I did didn't... so good. What do you think? I never want to be in the camera. I'm always like, I'm behind the scenes only. <laughs> this is like a grand reveal right here. Yeah. You were like a grand reveal. Yeah. You are the voice of body, dude. Like yeah. literally. Mm-hmm. Literally. Mm-hmm. And this is going to be fun to share people like like your journey and like yeah. how you got here and what you're all about. And yeah. I'm excited. To... Yeah, I'm excited for the future. And... You know. Watch out for this girl. Yeah. <laughs> There's big things for you. So. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. We're here to support you and cheer Thank for you. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get some more skulls in the future. Yes. We'll have to go visit the space. And yes. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go lay down because uh, I'm in a food coma. Uh, <laughs> this is all delicious. Good night. <laughs> good night. Good day. Yeah. Uh, I will say uh, the, the, out of all of it, I, those pizza skulls are, the, it's, there's a next level i don't know what the hell but those are yeah i'm excited let us know in the comments if you've tried them already what your thoughts are yeah (laughs) yeah Yeah. please okay and then subscribe for me yeah yeah um don't yeah don't forget to follow uh tortas y donuts or and then also hire ellas like because she's a marketing genius herself um she helps other businesses who don't have the courage to you know do the social media themselves and you don't have to if you don't if you're not like my, my dad and I, like my dad, if he was alone, he said, I would totally invest. Not knowing what I know now, I would totally invest in a company or someone who could help me with the social yeah. media. And, you know, not everybody has a daughter like, like you know, himself. Yeah, buddy, yeah. So you have higher AS to like push your content Aww. forward and then really getting it on the screen. Um, 
you know, um, makes other people crave it. And sometimes, you know, you are that hidden gem that no one knows about, and you just need a little love from social media content creators Ooh. like herself, Thank you, and, <laughs> you wow. know, to get, get to get people invited to your restaurant. Thanks, so, buddy. yeah. Wow, thanks. <laughs> so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Well, peace Good. out. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. 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 <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for coming, Maria. Thank you. <laughs> <I'm really dumb. laughs>